Mother's Day fun and frolics in just a few minutes' time. So get ready to eat some cake. Woo! So we have the Mother's Day celebration happening here. That's made of ice. So cute. And then we have a cake. find out. So do we have any mums that have got more than two kids? Give me a wave in the air. More than two. Do we have any mums that have more than three kids? Stay over here. Sandy, where are you from? In Arizona. You've got six kids. How many grandkids do you have? Twelve grandkids. Do we have anybody that has more? Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to give you a special prize. We're going to give you your very own 24 karat gold plastic ship on a stick. Still very full from lunch, but it is dinner time. You ready for dinner? Yes. It's elegant night, so everybody's, yes, everybody's nicely dressed. So here we go. Woo, it's rocking. Oh my goodness, it's like vibrating. It's not. Do we sound like you can get a regular salad? I don't know if you have to eat it. You have to ask him. This is the chicken and wild rice soup. Thankfully, it's gluten free. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. Looks delicious. Yummy. All right, here's dinner. It's a flat iron steak, mashed potatoes, and asparagus. Delicious. And then a special little <laughs> dessert for Mother's Day. That's so sweet. A banana split. Well, let me tell you, I think this is the best show of the entire cruise. Our singers and our dancers are back. And tonight, it's all the epic rock sounds of the 1980s. Okay, so we have been to a show, which I showed you a little bit of. You ready? Yep, I don't have my key with me. Okay, comedy. And now we are headed down to deck two to drop something off. And I will explain to you what it is. Um, and then we're gonna go to bed. So in Canada, you have to have a customs declaration kind of like Mexico anytime you know that kind of thing um, typically the Caribbean ports we've never had to do that but they require it for Canada so we had to fill out our form we're gonna put it in the box next to guest services and then we're gonna call this day done because we are tired. It's 940 but it's actually 1040 because we have to roll the clocks forward an hour and uh, I really much prefer the fall back the roll back the clocks but that's okay so we are going to call this day done. Um, it's been an exciting day. Ketchikan was wonderful, though that feels like yesterday. Tomorrow is Victoria. Yep. Victoria, I'm very excited about setting foot in Canada. So, all right, so we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. It is 9.01 a.m., 49 degrees outside, Monday, May the 13th. It's our last day of the cruise. 
We are headed to Victoria, Canada, Victoria, British Columbia, and I'm so excited. I miss the mountains. We are inside because it's chilly outside. So I definitely miss seeing the mountains. And uh, I don't know when I'm gonna get to see them again. Maybe the next time I come to Alaska, but uh, I definitely want to see them again. Um, They took my breath away. This, the scenery on this cruise has just, you didn't want to look away because you might miss something. And it was ever changing and always beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna go meet everybody for breakfast. It's uh, nine something in the morning, like right at nine. And, uh, and we're just gonna do I don't know what. It's, we all have to pack today. I'm looking at the stairs, sorry. We all have to pack today, so. You know, it's so strange. You know, this is the second cruise we've actually had a port of call on our last day of the cruise. Um, it's just so different uh, than I'm used to. Uh, and I don't know how I feel about it, you know. You don't really have a lot of time to, I don't know, I like having a sea day. So, you know, let's have it a 10 day cruise and have the last day be our sea day. Okay, okay, let's do that. There's where we are. We're, st we're too far away from this to see anything. So we have shown more of the cruise this time, not the ship. So later on today, we're gonna go walk around the ship and kind of show you around. I know we did a little exploring the first day, but we really haven't been to any of the outside decks or anything like that. So we're gonna try and do that today, show you around a little bit. But um, Alaska is more about the ports than it is the ship. So there's that. So um, we haven't done a whole lot of events around the ship because there's too much to see outside. So you're looking out your balcony, you're exploring the scenery. So we'll see, I'll take you around the ship a little bit. Um, I do remember the first day we kind of explored a little bit, but not a whole lot. <laughs> so, and I don't film trivia. Can't really film too much of the shows. Can't film too much, I can't film uh, comedy, so. There you go. So if you are a wine connoisseur, this is available on the ship. Just press pause. So we're having sea day brunch and here's my breakfast. So that's a cheese omelet and that's bacon and all the hash browns on the ship are on my plate. They brought them all to me. <laughs> I didn't know they were gluten free. Yeah, and then here's Rob's breakfast. They spoiled us this morning. <laughs> I think it's the last day of the cruise. They're like, let's get rid of this food. <laughs> Back in the cabin after breakfast or brunch. He was quick this morning. Look at our little froggy guy. Not the traditional heart, which is nice. I like that we have a little froggy guy. And he's saying goodbye to us. He sniff, sniff. So it says to be out of a cabin by 8.30, but we have an excursion to the airport tour type thing tomorrow. So we will be in the Victoriana Lounge. Or it's not Victoriana Lounge, it's Truffles Lounge. What's it called here? Follies. Theater. Follies Theater Lounge. So oh, Truffles Restaurant. V uh, Valenciana, Victoriana, or whatever it is. That was on the Freedom. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pack real quick and uh, get that out of the way and then um, go to towel folding. Okay, so they're getting ready for the chocolate extravaganza in the buffet, so I thought I'd give you just a little peek at the desserts and treats that all look so tasty and so beautiful. Look at that. Mmm, looks like some sort of cake or cheesecake. Yummy. This is when I really miss gluten. Oh yeah, I'm sure they'll have a gluten-free choice, but I don't need anything sweet right now. Look how good that looks. So, uh, the buffet is closed right now. They are transitioning between breakfast and lunch. See the, we are on the pool deck. All the animals. It's funny. <laughs> That's cute. There's our little guys coming into towel folding. All right, let's see where everyone is, if they're in here yet. You wanna grab a towel, honey? 
Thank you so much. There we go. All right. She has, okay, thank you. All right, let's see if everyone's in here yet. Maybe not. It's pretty much always gonna be the body of your animal, all right, we're gonna do that with the body. So for the first animal, it's gonna be a surprise. Now kids, we're gonna help you, so don't worry, okay? All right. Now, the first towel is the big one, and we need it to be in front of you horizontally, okay? That's step one, all right? <laughs> Insert J elephant noise here. I'm looking around. Oh, there we go. That, that was it. Bunch of zookeepers. <laughs> Feeling good? Yes. Ready for Victoria? Yep. How, who's never been to Victoria? It's gorgeous. You better get off the ship and have a little look around and enjoy it. So, uh, welcome to the QA. You know, I'm Jenny Cruz Retta. I think Calvin, our entertainment driver, is going to join us in a little while. So I just wanted to put this together just as a like a super easy informal Q&A. So any questions that you guys might have about what it's like to live on a ship or to work on a ship or you have any questions you'd like to ask, you want to find some gossip that's going on, this is the time. So we're just going to ask the questions. I'll be as honest as I can. If I don't know the answers, I'll make it up. The only thing we can't talk about is money. So you can't ask like how much people earn. So let's get started. If you have a question, just give us a wave in the air. We're going to start with this guy. What's your name? Robert. Robert, what is your question? How many different ships have you been on? How many different ships have I been on? Oh my God. Um, well, I've been around with Carnival 18 years. Wow. wow. So uh, I don't know exactly how many, but a lot. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, I, I need to count them out. Thank you. Oh, hi, lovely. What's your name? What's your question, Tiff? How many crew members are in a room? In a room? How many do you think are in a room? Eight. Eight. <laughs> Two. Two. Yeah. Yeah, we're not in like the 1950s. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? No. That's ridiculous. No. It's just two people to a cabin. And it's just a bunk bed. So it's a, like a, you know, a small, like if you've got an inside cabin, it's maybe just a bit smaller than that. Obviously no windows. So bunk beds, like a desk, wardrobes, a little, most people have their own bathroom. Some of the older ships, like the fantasy class, they will share like a, a combined bathroom between two cabins, but there's never more than two people to a cabin. Okay, so I'm blue for being smurfy today. We're headed to the casino because as you know, our shore excursion in Juneau was canceled. So they give you onboard credit. Well, instead of waiting for them to mail a check to us, we're gonna go to the casino, put it into a machine. You can, you know, access your money on your ship's card, on a slot machine, add it to your machine. And then when you, you know, if you wanna bet a couple of bets, whatever, fine. And then you'll get a ticket. You cash out at that machine, you get a ticket and you go over to the cashier in the casino and then we'll give you cash for your ticket. That way you don't have to worry about mailing a check or anything like that. Big old gimbal. Where? Oh yeah, that's a that's an expensive gimbal. <laughs> no thank you. Um, that gimbal was half my size. So um, that's what we're doing right now. Uh, we may hit a couple turns on a quick hits machine.
So we put ooh, we put our cards in the machine and we came out, we saw the bonus round I just showed you and we won, I think it was like 60, 50, 5, 60 bucks and we gambled a little bit more of it and cashed out. So we were up like 50 bucks. Nice. Okay, so we've just come back to the cabin for a little bit of a day break. It is two o'clock and we just got notice that our airport transfer tomorrow has been canceled. Uh, Seattle Essentials with airport transfer. Really kind of stinks because um, that's how we're getting to the airport. So uh, we're scrambling now to find out how we're going to get from the ship to, to the airport. I don't really want to Uber because it's really expensive. Um, and we also weren't, we're going to be able to see um, Pike's Place and now we're not going to. So that's really disappointing. So now I guess we're just gonna go straight to the airport and sit at the airport for a while. Yep. So let me check our Carnival account. Did they put more back on? Yeah, that's what I'm checking. Our account summary, we have cashed it. Yes, now we have $160 on our card again so we need to go back to the casino and do the same thing we just did and we need to do it quickly because it closes at three All right the last cash out so we're gonna go do that very quickly one more time <laughs> okay so we just cashed out again and we're just going to either take a Lyft or an uber to the airport tomorrow I mean no big deal I'm disappointed I won't get to see Pike's place I, I'm really disappointed about that but we'll just have to come back <laughs> and we will. We're definitely going to be doing Alaska again, for sure. Okay, so it's dinner time. We're gonna go have dinner and then go grab our stuff out of the room and go into Victoria. We should be in pulling into port here pretty soon after dinner. I can't wait. I'm very excited. Hello! <laughs> wait, where'd you go? There he is! <laughs> okay, this is the Alaskan crab bisque. Interesting. And tonight I'm having salmon. So I'm very excited. Of course I had to have salmon on my last night of the cruise.